Hello and welcome to another video about mapping. This one is going to be a bit different because it's not going to be historical mapping, but hopefully soon. So on Wednesday I woke up sick and I thought, yay, Covid has caught up with me. It was only a matter of time, playing music and all those pops with people with no masks on and no social distancing. And then um, I took the antigen test, came back positive. Um, I'm still not convinced I have it, but um, I took the PCR test this morning, so I thought I might as well show you how to map a COVID testing center. And I had mapped the that it is a COVID test center last week when I went to uh, map the house numbers in Bishop Birch Place. And I had just come across it, and it's here. I don't know why it's not showing it now. Um, it was showing it earlier. Um, so I got the text that you get when you um, try to get an appointment, which is difficult enough. And um, it had the unit 24 on it, and it also had the air code for the building on it, which um, I've added already. I'm not sure if it's completely uh, legit, because we're trying not to add air codes, because they are licensed, but I didn't get it off their website. I got it from a different source, so I hope it's okay. Um, you can see it here now, but um, if I activate the map data layer, and uh, this is the dot here, and these are the tags you can use. Um, it says name COVID test center. I don't know why it isn't displayed. Maybe I did something wrong. Um, but healthcare, colon, speciality, COVID-19, and then healthcare, sample collection. Those are the tags as far as I know. And on the building, I have added the unit 24 which I don't think you can get that information anywhere else unless you find that unit for sale or for rent on Daft and the postcode and the source I put in HSE because that's where I got the message from. But I want to add a few more details um, to the area. So I cycled there because I couldn't really ask for a lift in case I do have COVID, um, which is fun. There are, of course, no bicycle parking spaces there. Um, there is also no car park because you're not supposed to linger, I guess. I'm not actually sure. I didn't pay attention if this car park is actually still there. I just want to add a few highway features, really. So you come in here. I'm going to add a second service way because you go in that way and you come out the other way um, so this is the direction you go in and then this is the direction you'll be out, go out over we'll like this oops I'm not at the full strength of my intellectual c um, capacity abilities um, so this is the way out and I'll put one way yes. Also on the other one, I could have just marked that. And I have the gate here. Barrier. Gate. Same here. Um, I came in like on the bike um, and then there was a footpath here ending just before the gate footpath um, it's highway footway yeah. and then there was a barrier here that I could tie my bike to so barrier, features, fence, and then the material was metal, and it was railing. It looked like scaffolding, really. So then, of course, there's an entrance here, and I'll just highlight the point and put entrance. Yes, it's also the exit. And then it was a hinged door 
that open to the outside. I don't know if that's a possibility, but because it's probably an emergency exit, it has to open to the outside. And then the cars went in that way, I think, drove around and came out that way. Hope that's correct. It makes sense anyway. I mean, they wouldn't go around here and then cross paths. So I'm just hoping I'm getting it somewhat right. I'm not going to put in what they do inside because I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't think I could see it from where I was. There were walls here. So I went in there. There was a sanitizer station. There was a little waiting room there with two chairs. And then I was led to the next one with one chair where they took the sample. Not fun. Um, I think that's all I can do for now. It's not very exciting. And I'm not entirely sure if it's all correct because I didn't make any notes. It's just from memory. But um, hopefully it's it's improved the whole thing a little bit. Um, added details to COVID test center source. Let's put down local knowledge. It doesn't sound as reliable as survey. I'm really surprised it doesn't show the name. There we are now. We have the, the driveways um, and the one-way system established. Shiné. I'll know in about two days if I have COVID or not. I'm pretty sure I don't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Or you see me soon, rather. Bye. <laughs>